Monaco's emotions can't be described in words, that's why we use emoji. I choose the hammers <laughs> for Saint Devot because I end up in the wall a few times when I was here first first years. But uh, it's uh, it, somehow it feels like if you get that right, then uh, you can easily uh, gain a lot of lap time. Turn six, the hairpin. Uh, I chose the smiley that you see uh, because it's always a bit tight. You never know how deep you can break into the corner. Obviously, it's very low speed, and you tend to lock up the, the inside front wheel. So sometimes you go a little bit too wide, that's why sometimes uh, yeah, it's close, but it's a very important corner to lose or to hopefully gain a lot of time. For the tunnel, uh, um, I felt that, that um, we're going the fastest that we go here, so I choose the, the feeling to, to top, the arrow to the top uh, for that, because it's the fastest place, and, uh, and uh, especially before the break. For the chicane, uh, yeah, I left uh, the emotion of a little bit with doubt uh, because you always get the feeling that maybe there was more. Did I hit the breaking point right? Can I break uh, later next, the next lap? So you're always thinking right after the exit of the corner whether there was more on the, on the plate. For tabak, I just uh, I don't know. It makes no sense maybe, but the steam uh, steam coming out and uh, it's, uh, it's a tricky place because it's a bit. Of, kind of blind uh, exit on the corner so uh, you can uh, actually go quite fast when you get it right then you you kind of force it yourself to to break less and go faster through the corners and for uh, last part of the track we have Raskas and uh, yeah you're always quite lucky if you maneuver around there it's quite tight the narrow is uh, the, the tracks quite narrow so it's uh, one of the most narrow parts and you're quite happy if you just got away with uh, with it